Today we're out here with uh, Captain Jack Fry. If you're looking for a fishing trip somewhere near St. George Island, Panhandle of Florida, even if you got to drive, this is the place to go. Um, so we're going to talk a few minutes with Jack here, ask him some questions, just kind of talk about the fishery here and, and what he does. All right, Jack, so uh, one of the things you like to do here is triple tail fish. Triple tail is one of my favorites. It is actually one of the easier fish for my clients to learn quickly. Um, it is a um, sight fishing type of deal. Um, so, so, so where do they actually get? Like, what are you looking for? What I look for is anything floating. It could be plastic. I've caught them under hats before. Um, anything that is floating. This fish's nickname is a sunfish. So basically what I'm looking for here is, is this big mat of grass provides shade. It provides a place for smaller fish and crabs to rest under. Uh, smaller fish, they'll get tired of the sunshine. They'll get tired of uh, swimming in the currents, basically. Now, with the sun being up so high, they're going to get tired of that sunlight. So they're going to go shade out. Triple tail is an ambush predator, just, just like the bass. So basically what I'm doing is I'm floating in a bait close to the bottom side of this grass. And as, I, as we fish it, I'm watching for anything that looks like a shadow, a shiny, it'll look like a light is on underneath that grass. Uh, the reflection coming off of the triple tail will actually, he'll actually he'll, he'll shine, you'll see. So. You gotta try to stop and fish on these spots. There may not be a fish there, but nine times out of 10, these spots are natural. So they're gonna be floating underneath these spots. And other than like grass beds, what are the other things you try to fish with or um, fish under? Well, buoys. The, the buoys, the crab pot buoys, uh, markers for channels, poles or posts. Um, they will hang around that kind of structure. That fish tries to become part of that habitat. That is how that's how he feeds. That's where they're going to spawn at. They're going to spawn around things, and they're definitely going to feed. I have never caught a triple tail just out in the open like normal fishing unless I've seen the fish floating by, which they will float themselves. If there's nothing, if there's nothing there, they will float themselves like they're a dead fish, and it'll attract the crab. It'll attract smaller fish up there to him. Um, and when he opens that mouth, he can pull in a lot of water at one time. It's like a vacuum cleaner. He can, he can suck it in quickly. So hopefully we can find you guys something that I can demonstrate and show you uh, what I'm talking about. We got a fish, guys. Now I left that fish right here, same size as that one. He went up to the court and kissed the court. My guy missed one on this two days ago. If you look under the cork right there, you can see him. You see him, Max? He's laying flat. This is a keeper fish, too. Now. Look over there at that one. You'll spot one over there. Too. Yeah, look for more fish over there. And if you see them, Max, no hurry. They're going to stay there.
there behind it. Try to get back around to him where I'm not so far away from him. He's right with my cork. I want yeah, you guys yeah. to see the fish. He's following it. Yeah, so we're just going to ease up to my cork where you guys can see this fish. Pressure this fish. He is heavy. He uses his body to an advantage. Go ahead and extend your pole out there. Yarn, bud. There he is. Let him do what he wants to, guys. Don't try to rip this fish in the boat. Drag still too tight. On a slack drag. Let him do. Got enough body strength that he can rip that out of his own mouth. Here he comes. Stand back. This is where you'll lose him at, right here, guys. I'm gonna keep his head above the water and bring him to you, Matt. I do. I bring him on. Hey, hey, hey! I'll check him out. I spotted that fish from 30 to 40 feet away. Blue sky, as long as you've got the, the right glasses, you need to have polarized glasses to be successful in any type of fishing, if you ask me. Now he takes he takes that all the way in. You want to allow him to get that hook all the way in. You don't want any shallow hooking. Um, I use circle hooks. I use from a number three to a number four circle hook. I recommend uh, number four hooks, um, snapper hooks work, but that was a number four mustad hook that I used. So, let me get my boca, and, uh, we'll see what he measures up to, but he looks like he's going to be right at, in his 20s as far as length. guys interested in catching something like this look me up let's check him out and see what he measures to all right I'm right on the sticker here that fish is 19 and a half he is really close to 19 and three quarters that is a keeper 18 inch minimum minimum on the fish fish he can't open wide I caught this like a bass on steroids be aware of his gill plates the gill plates are serrated like razors and he can get you the, the throats cheeks 
This thing is solid. You can see the meat from one side to the other. He is full of meat. Alright, there he is. Good job on retrieving that shrimp for me there, Chuck. <laughs>